hello and welcome here. There may come a day when Kara Zor-El is prepared to retire from her role as Supergirl permanently, but the transition to Superwoman might not be straightforward. The Superwoman mantle has a really grim background unworthy of a hero like Kara, despite the fact that it seems like the most natural choice. Kara realized that her newborn cousin was now a full-grown man and the planet's top guardian once she ultimately made her way to Earth after surviving the destruction of Krypton. Thanks to the sun's golden rays, Kara gained superhuman abilities like Superman and transformed into a hero like Clark. Together, Supergirl and Superman defended Earth for many years, and what began as two Kryptonian heroes soon expanded to include a whole family. Supergirl has witnessed others transition to new personas as they age, including as John Kent, who gave up the Superboy moniker to become Superman. But if Kara has been around for so long, why does she still go by Supergirl rather than Superwoman, a more suitable moniker given her age? As it happens, that name has a very sinister history. In Supergirl No. 40, Sterling Gates and Jamal Igle revealed the fact. After the bottle city of Kandor was revived, Kara met a strong lady who went by the name Superwoman and sported the S shield of the Super family. The strain of the escalating hostilities between Earth and New Krypton leads Supergirl to confide in Superwoman, even if Kara is dubious of the stranger's identity. Kara is unaware that Superwoman is actually Major Lucy Lane, the younger sister of Lois Lane, who has been carrying out her father General Sam Lane's instructions in order to destroy the Kryptonian threat. As Superwoman, Lucy freely exploited her abilities to carry out the plan, killing innocent people. Naturally, Lucy isn't the first Superwoman to become bad. Before Lois Lane's sister ever attempted to take up the mantle, a woman by the name of Dana Dearden dubbed herself Superwoman in an effort to win over the Man of Steel, only to renounce the title after discovering that her sentiments weren't shared. The Earth-3 version of Wonder Woman, who has shown to be just as evil as Diana is virtuous, is possibly the most well-known person to use the moniker Superwoman. Without a doubt, the Superwoman name has a very shady background. Although Kara adopts the persona in DC's future state, the mantle's sinister past remains unchanged. Superwoman is a fine moniker for Supergirl to go by in the future, but it also carries a poisonous stigma. No one wearing the House of L insignia would ever engage in some of the horrific atrocities that individuals like Lucy Lane and the evil from Earth 3 have done by abusing the honorable super prefix. It's terrible that Kara has effectively had her natural development stopped since some baddies earned the moniker before her. She merits a better name, one that hasn't been revealed to bad people. Supergirl would have the opportunity to become Superwoman in an ideal world, but the name has been tainted by too many terrible actors. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.